Okay, so here we go. I'm going to try and do this video in one shot with no video editing, as easy as possible. I can tell it already might be ruined because I can hear people talking in the background in my house. Awesome. Anyway, finishing Zimyatin's Wii, I was following D503 all the way through and trying to figure out where his, you know, where his loyalties lie, what, what his beliefs are, stuff like that. Towards the beginning, he's all for the one state, he's, you know, he has no queries, he's not wavering, he knows what he wants to do. Um, meets this girl named uh, I330, and then he's just like, he falls madly in love with her and uh, decides that he wants to be with her forever and, you know, forget about the one state, all my beliefs gone, thrown out the window. And I, I wasn't sure at the beginning that if he was actually going to end up staying with that or not, because it's very... Um, irresponsible of a mathematically perfect society. Um, but anyway, yeah. I, what I was surprised about was at the very end when he got the operation done and you know, he got his solectomy and stuff like that. Uh, that. That surprised me a lot that he actually went through with that. I guess I just didn't really see that coming. I might be naive, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, I, I just, they they tortured I-330 because she was a, um, she was an enemy to the one state, I guess is a good way to put that, but still, I, D-503 got the operation, so he can't even feel that, like, he feels no emotional connection to that whatsoever, what was, do they really think they were going to get information out of I-330? I mean, she was the leader in a massive rebellion against the one state. Come on. Uh, it could have also been to test the um, effectiveness of the selectomy if he responded to uh, I-330 being tortured or not. That's very possible. If he responded, he would obviously have emotions left. If not, well, okay. Then our, uh, our operation worked. Yay. Uh, okay, now I'm going to talk a little bit about the... Uh, whole situation where I personally think I-330 was actually using D-503 because he's the uh, the builder of the Integral. I find it a little bit hard to believe that D-503 happens to be the builder of the Integral and happens to just wander into this big rebellion thing going on. Eh, it's a little bit weird. I mean, what about... Why, why couldn't uh, why couldn't D-503... Not D-503. Why couldn't I-330 have found any other mathematician that you want? Well, because D503 builds the Integral, this big spaceship thing that could really help in this massive government of people. Just my two cents. Um, also, the uh, she's got doctors, she's got guardians, she's got pretty much one person in every department. She's trying to get an ace in the hole everywhere. That way, if she has a well-rounded team, it makes her chances of uh, an uprising much, much better. Um, not that it really mattered. Yeah. But anyway, no. Okay, so basically back to going to, on to talking about how D503 is too perfect as the builder of the integral to just happen to fall into I-330's hands. Um, I did an end up having to do some video editing because I got interrupted. Eh, eh. Kind of saw it coming. You know, Kyle's recording a video, everyone's got to come in. Anyway, forward slash my rant. Um, I-330 has been manipulating D-503 from the beginning, starting from when they first met, and they had to go to the ancient house, and when they got their pink ticket, and they, instead of like, you know, doing the normal, we have a pink ticket, let's have sex thing, they were like, well, we're just going to sit here and uh, I'm going to expose you to all these things that are against your uh, your views and your, basically like your religion, I guess. Drinking, smoking, uh, yeah, you yeah, know. And it, I think it really showed D503 that he does have inner feelings. Um, especially the inner feeling of lust came out for I-330, which is uh, it's a big deal because that's what turned D503 against the one state to begin with. Without I-330 intentionally manipulating him like that, he would have just been a happy little honeybee working in the hive or something. Had no idea what's going on. Uh, we did this in class. I'm trying to remember the uh, the cave theory thing. 
forgot what it was called, but uh, yeah, this is what I get for making the video on Saturday. Oh well. Um, I I just don't I don't I don't think it would happen that it would be a coincidence. And as far as final questions in the novel go, it, it really didn't answer anything. It was like, wait, what just happened? The, the book's over now? Come on, you should have another five, six sections, something? Come on, don't do this. Because it ends, you know, we don't know if there's an upheaval or anything. We don't know if there's some big reform. It's just like, there is never a final revolution. End book. What? No, that's not okay. Come on. At least, at least let us know what happens to this one state. All right, well, I, I, I think I've hit the five-minute mark now, so I'm going to go ahead and kill it, hopefully. All right.